Hello everyone, it's Colette, and today we'll be kicking off Water Marble March 2023 with this Hollow Taco One Coat Chrome design. If you love nail art, be sure you subscribe to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures. And if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. Starting off with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Hollow Taco's Quick Dry Base and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. The colors that we'll be water marbling with today are from the Hollow Taco One Coat Chrome Collection. This is Iron Violet, the teal is Aquafoil, and the silver, which I'll also be using as my base color, is World's First. Once I have the base color applied, I'll be protecting around my nails using liquid latex as well as tape. As usual for a water marble, I'm working in a 5 ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. Once the bullseye is complete, I'm going to go ahead and draw in a flower design. I'm going to pull the petals in toward the middle and then I'm going to give them a flick back towards the outside. Once you've got the design in the cup, you want to decide where you're going to be dipping going to be going for about three petals on each nail and avoiding the very fat petal and the very skinny petal. So I'm going to line my nails up in the cup and then carefully dip in. With my orange stick I'm going to reach in to clean up the excess polish so that doesn't stick on top of the design. And then once everything is clear, I'm going to pull my nails out and remove the protection. These polishes do leave quite a bit of debris left in the cup, so I'm going to use one drop of polish to clear the surface before I start on the next design. I'm just going to spread it all out, then once it's dry, I can pull it out and it will pull out all those little bits along with it. Once you're done with all the nails, you can move on to cleanup. I'm going to use a Q-tip for some of the larger areas as well as underneath the nail. And then I'll move on to closer cleanup with my usual small brush dipped in acetone.
So here's the finished manicure, and I love how this turned out. I haven't applied a top coat yet, but I did test it on just one nail to see if it helped smooth out the ridges that I had from a patch on this nail, as well as some of the bubbles from the water marble. And it does smooth things out somewhat, but it also changes the finish a little bit. So right now my plan is to take some pictures with the natural chrome finish, and then I'll probably top coat the rest of the manicure. If you'd like to see the extended tutorial for this, those will no longer be getting uploaded here on my main channel, but they will all still be getting uploaded to a separate channel, and that will be linked in a card up in the corner and also down in the information box. Of course, if you'd like to support me here on YouTube, feel free to join the channel as a member for some perks like emoji, and I'd love to hear what you guys think of this down in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, I hope you'll leave a thumbs up. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.